Wow, Cologne, fuck your tears. How about that rhythm section? Thank you, thank you so much. Welcome to The Late Show. Uh, that was a tune from the very first Becker Brothers record that uh, we recorded uh, well, several times on different albums. And uh, we'd like, uh, it's called Sponge, by the way. And we'd like to do a newer tune that's from a recent Brecker Brothers band reunion that uh, was dedicated to my late great brother and other departed band members. And uh, this, uh, well, it, <laughs> it is called First Tune of the Set, although now it's Second Tune of the Set, so I have to change the title. But we hope you enjoy it. It's a cool tune anyway.
Yikes. Thank you so much. We're having a lot of fun back here. It's nothing like music. I, I'll tell you the truth, me and Otto, we've been up for a couple days and we were backstage saying, we can't do it. I've been, I'm tired, I have to eat some candy, I need coffee, complaining like crazy. Come out here and play with these great musicians and it's just a lot of fun. Music's wonderful. And now we're going to do one of uh, my wife Ada's uh, new compositions. We just recorded 10 of her tunes with a great band in New York. Uh, and uh, this is our, or her actually, rather, dedication to a lady she played with a couple times that we lost last year, the great Aretha Franklin. This is called Reverence. Thank you. 
Chris Adam, Robati, composer, arranger. Thank you so much. Might add that uh, that uh, record will be out sometime uh, late summer on the Jazzline Delta label led by our friend Joachim Becker, so we're looking forward to that. Uh, this next tune, we're kind of passing the uh, composer-arranger duties around here. This is a wonderful tune by the late, great Michael Brecker, who we miss very much. And this is a tune of his that we had to beg him to play all the time, because he thought portions of it were too corny. So we would have to force him to play this tune, and it became the title tune of our sixth album back in the late 80s, and uh, uh, became one of his most popular compositions. This is called Strap Hangin', Strap Hangin' by Michael Brecker. And as Joe Henderson, a great saxophone player, when he first heard this tune, he was blown away. He said, man, that's some Neanderthal shit.
I have to talk between tunes or I'll have a heart attack, so I have to give it a chance to slow down. Um, we're going to do another one of mine now, I think. Yeah, that looks like that one. This is from Brecker Brothers Band, uh, probably 
biggest selling album back in, uh, man, I hate to even say when it was, but it was 1978. <laughs> I feel self-conscious. We have a 10-year-old daughter. I recently, t she asked me what year I was born, and uh, I said, well, 1945, and she went, oh, my God. <laughs> eh, what are you going to do? <laughs> so this is a tune, kind of an altered blues from that record. It's called Inside Out.
Oh, wow. Inside Out. And now we're, well, before we do that, let me introduce you to the Cologne Funketeers and Funkifying they are surely doing and playing. This is a lot of fun. Yeah. They sound pretty good, right? Wow. Yeah. Bruno Miller on guitars. Bruno. On bass, it's great to see him again. We used to play back in the days of Billy Cobham, did several tours together. He's just a wonderful bass player. I was so happy to see he was on this gig. Stefan Rademacher. <laughs> and believe it or not, a gentleman I met for the first time about four hours ago, wonderful pianist, and keyboard artist, his name is Jesse Milliner. Wow. Yeah, you don't get a lot of time to rehearse these days, folks. These guys are killing it without just, you know, we've just hit it. Okay, and on drums, we played one other gig with the, with the uh, Cologne uh, Funketeers in Cologne, a few uh, weeks or months ago, and he was just great. So let's hear it for the wonderful Hendrik Schmuck. Yeah. Okay, we got to kind of stick to the schedule. We got one more tune for you, and this is the one that goes back all the way to the beginning, Billy Cobham recorded it first, but we recorded it next in 1975. There's about 33,000 versions of this tune on, uh, on uh, YouTube. <laughs> Serbian tap dancers, orchestras, marching bands. It's amazing that, uh, that 40 some years later we're still playing it. So let's hear it for some skunk funk. We're going to play it as, as fast as is humanly possible, to, just for you. We've got to outbeat everyone.
Thank you. Let's hear it again for the Cologne Funketeers. Bruno, Stefan, Jesse, Hendrik, Otto Rovati. On saxophones, my name is Randy Brecker. We love you. We love Germany coming here. Thank you so much, WDR. Okay, you want to hear one more? We might have one more. Okay, okay while I, why, before I introduce that tune, I just want to do mention that we have a uh, great record coming out next month, February 23rd, also with the NDR Big Band featuring myself, arranged by Jorg Ockham Keller. Tunes, the, some of these tunes, some tunes from other periods. Ada is playing on it, Bruno's playing on it. Uh, Wolfgang Hoffner, uh, my old friend Dave Sanborn, who was in the original band, came by and played on two or three tunes. So check it out. It's called Rocks. Randy Brecker with the NDR Big Band. A lot of big bands around today, but this is a tune by Bruno Miller, Bruno, Bruno Mueller, and uh, one that I hope I can play. We will soon find out. And it's called, it's a really cool tune entitled Top Spin. You've been a great audience. The sound was great, so thanks to everybody for having us on this night. Thank you. <laughs>
Bruno Mueller, Stefan Rademacher, Jesse Mellon, and Hendrik Schmack, Adam Rovati, yours truly, Randy Brecker, you're a great audience. We love you. Thank you. I hope you had a good time. Ein krönender Abschluss, würde ich sagen. Großartig. Das war das WDR 3 Jazz Fest. Wir verabschieden uns jetzt hier im Stream live von den Kollegen bei WDR3.de und natürlich bei Arte Konzert. Vielen Dank. Oh, wie ruhig es auf einmal ist. Aber gleich geht's wieder los. Dankeschön. Gute Nacht. Tschüss. Applaus